Now question related to expansion. Now McLaurin and Taylor series expansion. So here just uh, uh, I have already discussed about uh, infinitely if function having all order derivatives and uh, remainder tending to zero. That is if function can be expanded as an infinite series then Taylor's Taylor series expansion. Taylor series expansion about x equals to a. We can write f x equals to f a about a. So just this is formula what x minus a f dash a and x minus a square by 2 factorial f double dash a and up to so on and finally we can proceed for expanding the function this is Taylor formula also Taylor formula we can write like this x plus h equals to f x plus h f dash x plus h square by 2 factorial f dash double dash x and so on. We can write like this also here just we can write like this also h square by 2 factorial f double dash a about a, this is expansion. About a, this Taylor expansion about x equal to a. This is expansion, it is also formula. Here, just you can write just x equals to a, you can get like this formula. From this formula, you can get also this formula, also this formula. Okay. So these are used for Taylor series expansion. So remember this three formula. Okay. X plus this. Clear? Now A plus H equals to this also formula having F X plus H equals to this is also formula. Okay. So any of the formula can be used. This is expansion about X equals to A. Now McLaurin, McLaurin expansion McLaurin's series expansion. McLaurin series expansion McLaurin series expansion means about origin. So a equals to 0. So here we can write like this fx equals to just like what f0 in place of a you can put 0. So f0 x f dash 0 and x square by 2 factorial f dash double dash 0 and x cube by 3 factorial f triple dash 0 and so on. This is McLaurin series expansion. Whenever remainder tending to 0 is tending to infinity and all other derivatives are exist then we can approximate the function up to any number of terms and finitely. Okay. So these are the expansion series. Taylor expansion Taylor series expansion, McLaurin series expansion of a function. So these formulas are useful for expanding a function, for writing a 
function as a series. So here just some questions are there. Okay, Maclaurin series expansion of elementary functions are just like this. Uh, we, you know about some uh, expansion, special ex type of function e to the power x, tan x, sin x, cos x, log x, log 1 plus x, log 1 minus x, tan inverse x, and etc. These are the uh, elementary functions and its uh, uh, series expansion can be found by using generally Maclaurin series. Okay, whenever we try to uh, find the expansion in increasing power of x, increasing power of x, just we will use Maclaurin series expansion. Just like this, here solution. Okay, the first question here given fx equals to u to the power x. Just we have to expand, try to find fx equals to u to the power x, fx equals to sin x, fx equals to cos x. Let us suppose that the elementary function, the sin x, x series expansion, cos x series expansion, u to the power x series expansion, you know some of the series expansion. Also, there are a special formula. Okay, so just how can we find the series expansion of this? Okay, so very simple. Maclaurin series. You know Maclaurin series. What? Maclaurin series. Maclaurin series expansion is what we know. F x equals to f0 plus x f dash 0 plus x square by 2 factorial f double dash 0 plus x q by 3 f triple dash 0 and so on. Generally for series expansion writing just you have to write 4 or 5 terms in this here okay. So just this is the formula. For this uh, the series expansion of these functions, just we have to find what? f0, 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 that means derivatives we require. Okay, so here what? fx equals to u to the power x. So we know its derivative f dash x, one time differentiate what? Again u to the power x. Two time differentiation again u to the power x. N time differentiation you can get like this e to the power x just get it and so on similarly okay just we require the value at zero point so f zero what e to the power zero equals to one here f dash zero also e to the power zero one all the values are what e to the power zero one all derivatives are what e to the power zero one Similarly, you can get all the values using all these values in the above series expansion. Using all these values of derivatives. Okay. We can get from One. This is what. What? Just f x means what? E to the power x equals to f zero one one plus x f dash zero all are one. So just write x one plus x plus x square by two factorial plus x cube by three factorial plus x square four y Four factorial and so on. This is exponential series. Just we know also this formula. Okay. This is exponential series. Similarly, sin x can be find, cos x can be also find. So there are the list of derivatives, a uh, list of uh, series of elementary functions. Just use, you remember this formula, okay. So, but for sin x, just we can also see here.
Suppose we take sin x. Suppose we take sin x. Sin x. Then here what will be here? Sin x. We can get 1 by 1 derivative. sin x then what f0 equals to sin 0 equals to 0 its derivative what cos x so what cos 0 equals to 1 its derivative minus sin x so this is equals to minus sin 0 equals to 0 its derivative minus cos x so it is what minus cos of 0 equals to minus 1 just we can see that all the derivatives can find also minus minus plus sin x so also 0 and then also repeating all these values so 0 1 0 minus 1 0 1 0 minus 1 0 and so on so using all these values in this formula we can get what sin x equals to what sin x equals to f0 0, zero. so first value is 0 okay second what x into f dash 0 1 so x third second derivative second derivative 0 so this second cancel third derivative third derivative minus 1 so minus x q y 3 factorial similarly you can see that 5 factorial 5 factorial and so on so this is the series sin series all orders are there plus minus plus minus plus minus so very simple for finding the series expansion of sin x, cos x, tan x, etc. Okay. So just use this is the list. I'm providing this list. Just see it and note down all the formula. Series formula, series expansion, available to function. U over x, log one plus x, log one minus x, tan inverse x, sin x, cos x. A series expansion can be also used for expanding some function which are involving 2 or 3 sin e to the power x, sin square x, cos square x, x into cos x. Its expansion can be found by using this series also. Okay. So, this series are very very important. So, remember it and it can be found by using Maclaurin series expansion just like this process. Okay. So, very simple. Okay. So, remember this all the formulas as a series expansion of sin cos tan tan inverse log x 1 plus x 1 minus x etc okay these are important question uh, formula so see it okay note down and after pausing video you can see that formula anytime so note down all this formula okay now take second question just like Suppose, because this series can also be used for the expansion of a function about some point also and or in expansion uh, for expansion in powers of x by using this series expansion, elementary series expansion, you can use for finding other expansion for the function. Okay, for a polynomial function, you can also do it. Okay, so I will give some questions also today. So just we will solve all the questions here. The C the question that is what just expand ten. Explain 10 to the power x plus 10 x plus pi by 4. Just 10 x plus pi by 4 as far as the term x to the power 4. As far as x to the power term x to the power 4. And evaluate 10 46.5 degree to 4 significant digits. This is given. Okay. So here just given or we can say 
that we have to expand ten ten x plus pi by four. 10 x plus pi by 4 we have to expand in terms of increasing power of x up to x to the power 4 terms. Okay. This up to the term up to the term x to the power 4 and also you have to Calculate ten forty six point five degree. Calculate the value of this. Okay, the first part is what we have to expand this up to the term x to the power four. So here just on the depend of this function, just we see that we know a formula f x plus pi by 4, a, a plus pi by 4 also, we can use this formula a plus f a plus h as a Taylor formula. We know the Taylor We know the Taylor's theorem or Taylor expansion Taylor's series expansion Taylor series expansion formula as what f a plus h equals to f a we use this formula because just here a plus h format is there okay so f a plus h equals to f a plus h f dash a plus h square by 2 factorial f double dash a plus h q by 3 factorial a triple dash a and so on. Okay. Here for getting this, if we take fx equals to 10x. Here just see if fx equals to 10x. Then F A plus H equals to 10 A plus H F X equal to 10 X then F A plus H equal to 10 A plus H and if you put A equals to particular value pi by 4 and H equals to X then you can get 10 X plus pi by 4 this is equals to so just we can see uh, right like this okay so now for using this just we require f a f dash a f double dash a f triple dash a this implies f pi by 4 plus x 10 pi by 4 plus x for a equals to pi by 4 and h equals to x. Just we require this 10 pi by x plus pi by 4, x plus pi by 4, something. That means we would have to take a equals to pi by 4 and h equals to x in this formula. Okay, this is formula. Okay. Now, using this formula up to the term x to the power 4. So that's why here just one term also just you have to write f fourth derivative at a 
Okay. So now, because h equals to x, so x to the power 4 you can get up to the that term. Okay. Now, we have to find what? Derivatives. And just find the value for a equals to pi by 4. So, it implies fx equal to this. implies f dash x equals to what? sec square x. It can be written as what? 1 plus 10 square x. Why we convert? Because 10 by by 4 equals to we know 1. That's all. So, f dash x equals to this. Similarly, just calculate f double dash x here. Tell you what this is 0, 2, 10 x into sec square x. Derivative of this. One time you can check more. So also you can convert it sec square x 10 x into 1 plus 10 square x. Sec square x equals to after writing this you can calculate very easily the value of f dash double dash x. Okay. So here we can write what? 2 10 x plus 2 10 qx ok now also triple dash x we can calculate triple dash x one time again differentiate it 2 10 x and 2 10 qx also differentiate so 2 sec square x 6 10 square x sec square x clear 2 uh, 6 10 square x and sec square x it can be converted to 10 square x 1 plus 10 square x 1 plus 10 square x so we can write like this 2 1 plus 10 square x because we can find the value 10 by 4 1 so that's why just convert now plus 6 10 square x into 1 plus 10 square x just you can write it how here 2 2 plus 2 into 2 2 2 10 square x here 6 10 square x 6 to 8 10 square x 8 10 square x plus 6 10 power 4 x 6 10 power 4 x so this is f triple dash x just one time more differentiate 4 times x because we require up to the 4 time so on second differentiate it, it is 0, 16, 10 square x, sec square x, plus here 24, 10 q x, sec square x. Just you can convert it also in terms of 10 square x. 16, sec square equals to 1 plus 10 square. So 16, 10 square x plus 16 10 power 4 x 16 10 square x just I am writing in one step Sec 1 plus 10 square x so 16 10 square x plus 16 10 power 4 x 16 10 power 4 x here just see 10 q x 1 plus 10 square x so, what? 24 10 qx and plus 24 10 or 5x. 24 10 qx plus 24 10 5x. So, this is the value of f fourth day. Okay, 16, 16, 16. Also, 16, 10x, 16, 40, 10 qx.
here tan square not tan square tan x tan x so tan qx tan x qx 16 tan x 16 24 24 and 24 10 to the power 5 10 is 16 10x okay so this is just you can write here 16 10 qx 24 10 qx 40 10 qx 40 10 qx here 24 10 to the power 5x just this this is the short the fourth derivative now just find all the values for this 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 Okay. F A means F pi by four. Just find the value. A equals to pi by four. F A equals to a pi by four. F pi by four. Here. F pi by four. Ten pi by four. One. Ten pi by four. One. Ten pi by four. One. Similarly, you have dash. A f dash dash means this f dash means this 1 plus 10 square 1 plus 10 square means here f dash pi by 4 equals to what 1 plus 10 square pi by 4 equals to 1 plus 1 equals to 2 2 similarly just find all the values for f double dash a F double dash a means f double dash pi by 4. Just put the value here. What? Double dash this. 2 10 pi by 4. 2. 2 10 pi by 4. 2 to 4. 4. Value is 4. Similarly, f triple dash a. f triple dash pi by 4. Just use here. Triple dash. Triple dash this. 2 plus 8, 10 plus 16, 16, okay, so 16 and 80, okay, just we are getting this value, 1, 2, 1, 2, 4, 16, 80, 1, 2, 4, 16 and 80, just similarly, 4 derivative, you can get 4 derivative, pi by 4 is equals to 80, just see here, okay, 40, 40, 80. Just we require all these values and put the value in this formula. Using these values in Taking a equals to pi by 4 and a equals to x. Just thus by taking this, we find these values and use all these values in the formula and we can get formula. Okay. Using all these values in one. Using all these values in one, we get in one. Just we get, just put all the values here. Just we can see that here, here, f a plus h equals to f. What? 10 a plus h equals to 10 pi by 4 plus x also. So here f a plus h equals to 10 pi by 4 plus x equals to just put all the values f dash a 1 plus h means x x into 2x plus here h square x square by 2 factorial you have double dash a 4 
So x square y2 factorial into 4 into 4 plus x q y 3 factorial triple dash 16 16 plus 4 dash 1 4 factorial into x d just this okay so we see that we get 10 x plus pi by 4 equals to 1 plus 2x plus here 2x cube plus just 16 that is 3 into 2 2 means 8 8 by 3 8 by 3 x cube here 80 4 into 3 into 2 4 into 3 into 2 2 into 4 8 8 means 10 10 by 3 so 10 by 3 I think 10 by 3 okay 10 by 3 x power 4 and so on and finally okay so this is the series expansion up to the x to the power 4 up to x to the power 4 this is first part second part we have to find 10 uh, for 46.5 degree so for that here the c Here, what we can put take. Here, yeah. ten forty six point five degree is equals to ten forty five degree plus just one point five degree. Forty forty five degree means what? Pi by four. Pi by 4 and x 1 by degree. This. Here, like this. So, take x equals to 1.5 degree. x equals to 1.5 degree. Yes? Here the values of x are in radian. So just convert it in radian. What? x equals to 1.5 means 3 by 2 degree. And 3 by 2 degree means pi by 180 radian. We know what? One degree equals to pi by 180 radian. And pi equals to 22 by 7 just after uh, using this solving this uh, 3 by 2 into pi by 80 and pi equals to you know 22 by 7 just use and calculate it after calculating you can get its value 0 0.02618 0 0.02618 2618 0. 0 to 6 1 8 0 to 6 1 8 okay putting these values in 2 this is equation 2 suppose this is equation 2 thus putting these values in 2 we get what? 10, 45 degree plus 1.5 degree is equals to because pi by 4, 45 degree. 1.5 degree, just like it. This is equals to just use values 1 plus 2 into x equal to 0 0.02618 plus 2 x cube point zero two six one eight square plus x x cube x x cube sorry this is x cube x cube here x square sorry this is the x square okay 
x square is there, na? x square, okay, x square plus 2x, 2x square, just put the value x in this. So, this add by 3, 0 0.02618 cube plus 10 by 3, 0 0.02618 or 4. Just take up to this way and calculate it. Of using calculator, just into it, into squaring and into squaring and into and dividing and just setting setup. Just you can approximately get the value 1 1.05378. 1.05378. 1.05378. Approximately. So this is answer. Just calculate it using calculator and round out up to 4, four or 5 digits. Okay, 1.0, 1 1.05378. This is opposite. So just setting 46.5 degree. So 1046.5 degree can be obtained by using this expression. Okay. So very very important question. This type of questions you can solve also. Okay. Now I also see that this type of expansion can be find by using series formula. Just we have seen. Just now we have seen. What series expansion by using series expansion, you can also find the Taylor, exp uh, Taylor expansion, Maclaurin expansion, also and another method. But by Maclaurin series, by Taylor series, you can use their formula, series expansion formula, you can get the result here. Expand the function sin x. What is the question? Expand sin x in powers of x minus pi by 2. Just we can use Taylor series expansion about pi by 2. But also we can use the series expansion of elementary functions here for getting this type of expansion by setting of just like this. Suppose Here, solution uh, let fx equals to sin x. Just we have to expand sin x. We have to expand sin x in powers of. x minus pi by 2 just like in the Taylor formula x minus a expanding the function x minus a power but here we can use Taylor's expansion we can use Taylor expansion or we can also use available series expansion of elementary functions just like c for getting x minus pi by 4 or 2 we can write then we can write as what fx equals to we can use Taylor expansion series the formula but we can also use just like this method sin x equals to sin x minus pi by 2 plus pi by 2 and this is equals to what sin t plus pi by 2 t equals to t equals to x minus pi by 2 okay 
Clear? Clear? So, sin A plus B formula can be used. Our target is what? Expansion. Expand this function is power of this. That is power of T. So, we can sin A plus B. So, sin T sin A plus B sin A cos B plus cos A sin B. So, cos 9B equals to 0. So, this is 0. This is what? Sin 90, 1. So, cos t. So, we, we get fx equals to fx means sin is equals to cos t. Now, we know we know that series expansion of of cos x as cos t equals to what cos t equals to just one minus x square by two factorial plus x power four by four factorial minus x power 2 4 6 by 6 factor here. This is well known series expansion of elementary functions. Okay, so here just we know this type of expansion is known. Okay, so this can be written as cos t by using this 1 minus t square by 2 factor here, t 4 by Four factorial, t power six by six factorial, like this. So, f x equals to now revert the value t equals to x minus five by four. One minus t x minus five by four square into just we can write here one minus one by two. Because 1 by 2 factorial means 1 by 2. Just to write in factorial form. Right? Plus also 1 by 4 factorial. So x minus 5 by 4, 4 minus 1 by 6 factorial. x minus 5 by 4, 6 and so on. So this is expansion of sin x. This fx means what? Sin x. So just you can also write like this. This is fx. This is fx means what? Sin x. So sin x can be written like this. Okay. So this is the series expansion. You can get this result by also Taylor expansion formula. And also by using well known series expansion of elementary functions. So both method can be used. Okay. Now take another question. There is a question. Just this question is very very important questions. Okay. So here. We have to show that just like what Taylor series using just we have to use Taylor series expansion and uh, ten inverse x plus h. Okay, by using Taylor series Taylor series 
expansion by using Taylor series we have to show that by using Taylor series we have to show that what tan inverse x plus h I think like this ok tan inverse x plus h tan inverse x plus h sin z into sin z sin z by 1 sin z by 1 plus h sin z square h sin z square sin 2z by 2 here minus sin 2z by 2 plus h sin 3z q sin 3z by 3 ok where z equals to cot inverse x z equals to cot inverse x just we have to show that this so this question is very simple question here tan inverse x plus h so we can we know Taylor formula tan x plus h just like this we know that Taylor formula, Taylor series as what f x plus h equals to Taylor f x plus h this is another formula of Taylor series. So f x plus h f dash x plus h square by 2 factorial f double dash x plus h q by 3 factorial a triple dash x just read on this formula ok it can be used for finding this f x plus h f x plus h that is f x equals to to get this just we can suppose f x equals to if f x equals to 10 inverse h then f x plus h equals to 10 inverse h plus h so here let here let fx equals to 10 inverse x fx equals to 10 inverse x ok then f x plus h equals to 10 inverse x plus h we can get so it is required on the left hand side fx plus h fx plus h ok now we required f x f dash x f double dash x f triple dash x just find the value and put value in this equation equation 1 since here z equals to cot inverse x therefore cot z equals to x we can write it and it, it can be differentiated with respect to z so we can get what differentiate it with respect to x so here minus cosec square z into dz by dx just differentiate with respect to x then cosec is minus cosec square z dz by dx equals to 1 so here we can write dz by dx equals to 
1 upon minus sin cos x square z go to the numerator then minus sin square z so this is dz by dx just for finding this all these values are f x equal to tan inverse x okay f dash x implies f dash x here differentiate it 1 upon 1 plus x square so we can write 1 plus x square x equals to cot square z 1 plus cot square z 1 upon cosec square z sin square z okay sin square z the f dash x equals to sin square z here sin square z clear now also f double dash x with respect differentiate with respect to it x so 2 sin z cos z to sin z cos z dz by dx that is what 2 sin z cos z sin 2 z sin 2 z into dz by dx minus sin square z similarly implies f triple dash x differentiate it here minus sign taking outside and function of product of two function just differentiate it 2 sin z 2 just differentiate with respect to x here first with respect to z 2 sin uh, cos to z cos to z sin to z cos to z 2 into sin square z minus is taken outside sin square z plus differentiate of this 2 sin z into cos z into sin z into sin 2 z dz by dx so here minus 2 sin z 2 sin z can be taken outside 2 sin z just inner side 2 common cos 2 z sin z cos 2 z sin z here just 2 sin z is common this so cos z sin 2 z and this is minus sin is z this so just you can see minus 2 sin z in cos 2 z sin a cos b cos a sin b so sin a plus b formula 2 z plus z sin 3 z sin square z minus sin minus sin plus sin 2 sin q z here 2 sin q z and this is sin 3 z so this is f triple dash x just use all these values in this step in the formula then you can get the result very simple using all this result in one okay using all these values of derivatives in one we can get the required result okay using all these values of derivatives means this just see f x equal to 10 inverse x here 
same. F double dash x equals to this. This can be used. F double dash x equals to. No, F dash x. Sorry, F dash x equals to. F dash x equals to here. So sin square. So h into sin square z. So h into sin square z is this. We can set of this. h into sin z into sin z by one. That is h into sin square z. Now in third term, minus sin is there. So here minus sin is there. Sin square z. So we can write h square and sin square z. H sin z square. And sin z by two. Just Two factorial two. Similarly, third derivative is this plus sine one by three factorial. So here, what two sine q z sine three z. So we can set up like this. Just here two three factorial means three into two 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 can say so it's three only remaining. So sine three z by three and sine q z with h we can write like this. So we can get the equal result. Okay. So this type of questions are also important. Okay, just you have to find by using either of the Taylor series expansion series, Maclaurin series expansion series, or Taylor theorem. Okay, and also you can use series, elementary series. That is sin x for series for sin x, cos x, e to the power x, and Log one plus x log one plus these the elementary series can be used for finding also series expansion of a given function with combination of some combination. Okay, so just solve all some questions. Now I am giving some questions for your practice. Okay, so one by one, just note down all the question here. You can do. it by using either of the theorem any of the theorem okay so note down all the question your first question is state maclaurin's theorem first question state or write maclaurin's formula state maclaurin's state maclaurin's theorem For Maclaurin's theorem with Lagrange's remainder form, the state Maclaurin's theorem, the state Maclaurin's theorem with Lagrange's remainder form, for f x equals to cos x. Okay, f x equals to cos x. Lagrange's Lagrange's remainder form for f x equals to cos x. Second question: Verify Maclaurin's theorem. Second question: Verify Maclaurin's theorem. Verify Maclaurin's theorem for f x equals to one minus x to the power five by two. One minus x to the five by two with Lagrange's remainder form up to with Lagrange's 
Lagrange's remainder form. Lagrange's remainder form up to three terms up to three terms when x equals to one when x equals to one when x equals to one okay for solving this just you have to find the value of theta which should be like between zero and one and it can be stated just as I have already solved this type of questions in this class. Okay, here question third. Just for every x greater than equal zero, for every so that one plus x plus x square by 2 is less than equal e to the power x is less than equal 1 plus x plus x square by 2 e to the power x 1 plus x plus x square by 2 is less than equal e to the power x less than equal 1 plus x plus x square by 2 e to the power x okay just I have already solved this type of questions in this class. So, using that idea, you have to solve it. Okay. So, question 4. Obtain first four terms of Taylor series expansion. Obtain first four terms of Taylor's series expansion of POSIX about x equals to pi by 4 about x equals to pi by 4 that is you have to use Taylor's expansion formula or also you can use series formula also just you can uh, set of it for getting series by elementary series of some functions the sine series, cosine series can be used here. Yeah, okay. So, question 4 and then also 5 question. Question 5 is given from as just use question 5. Expand log x. Expand log x to the base e in powers of x minus 1 in powers of x minus 1 by Taylor's theorem and by Taylor's theorem by Taylor's theorem and Hence, find the value of and hence find the value of log 1.1. Okay. You can use Taylor series expansion F A plus H formula X minus A. Just you can take H equals to X minus yeah. X minus A formula can be used. Taylor's expansion. In this power of X minus 1. Power of X minus 1. Okay. And 
final set of log 1.1 just put the value 1.1 then just x minus 1 x equal to 1.1 1.1 .1, 1 .1 minus 1 means 0 0.1 just use this value in the series just uh, by taking 5 for 5 terms you can get the value of log 1.1 .1. okay this is question 5 and similarly just uh, expand the polynomial 6 expand the polynomial fx equals to x to the power 5 plus 2x to the power 4 minus x square x to the power 5 plus 2 x to the power 4 minus x square plus x plus 1 in powers of x plus 1 just use Taylor's expansion okay Taylor expansion series here 6 and then 7 expand e to the power x into sin square x expand this function in ascending powers of x in ascending power of powers of x up to x to the power 5 in ascending powers of x up to x to the power 5 just you can use here series expansion of this series expansion of this square and just multiply and you can get the terms of the series as a increasing up to x to the power 5 so 8 question 8 prove that here first part of 8 prove that e to the power x cos x e to the power x cos x equals to 1 plus x minus 2x cube upon 3 factorial plus or minus 2 square x power 4 by 4 factorial x power 4 by 4 factorial plus minus 2 square x power 5 by 5 factorial plus 2 q x power 7 by 7 factorial and so on. Just use Maclaurin series expansion, then you can get this series. Just you have to do it and also use the book for this finding derivatives and finally also prove that e to the power x cos x e to the power x cos x ok e to the power x cos x equals to 1 plus x 1 plus x plus x square by 2 minus x cube by 3 1 plus x plus x square by 2 1 plus x plus x square by 2 minus x cube by 3 plus and so on ok so these questions are for your practice ok all do all these questions in a week and note down all the questions in your math more copy and also all the questions which I have discussed in this Long lecture, okay. Just note down all the questions in your homework copy, okay.